everybody, yes, it's Pedia, and welcome back to another short tutorial on the Twin Plays YouTube channel. Um, I want to say thank you guys for 67,000 subscribers, it's been doing really good. Um, and in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to make a cafe register ordering system. Now, this is probably one of the biggest episodes of the cafe series just because uh, Tigo's been working really hard on this, and um, I had to test it with him and make sure that you know everything works. Um, so he did a great, great job, and I'm going to try my best to explain this to you guys. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to drop the subscribe button. And um, if you haven't been watching already, our friend Tigo here has been helping me make all these videos in the Cafe series. I want you guys to start on episode one if you are new, just because you're going to need a lot of things from the past videos. Um, kind of, but not really. You know, you just have to make sure you're having some of the scripts. Now, in this last video, we talked about the Cafe codes. Now, if you have any issues with that, feel free to let me know. Um, but I was kind of just mentioning that Roblox has been kind of taking down my models um, or just making it so I can't sell it to you guys. Um, I think it's our new moderation system, which is actually insane. I don't know why they're doing that. I've never had an issue before, but now it's like, uh, I think they just think that I'm like going to like you guys some virus or something. So um, links are below. It's going to be a Google Drive just because this one is, I guess, uh yeah people can't can't get it so um on the roblox story because it says it's moderated so you're gonna get this roblox file just click that download button um now another thing i wanted to mention like i was talking about all of my videos and tutorials are on a discord channel and tigo has we have a separate channel for the cafe series so i want you guys to go there you can look at the documentation you can look at everything um now and it'll have everything for you so if you just need a download model feel free to join the discord it's the best place and we help out everyone um but yeah, so you, you go to the models down here. Uh, you're just going to click this model button, um, and you should be able to import your model. Um, I'm just going to do it through the toolbox because I have it. Um, but yeah, so it is right here now. Um, we're going to move this a little up. But um, actually, I can just, you know, oh, no, let's not do that. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm actually just going to go like this and kind of show you guys because it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a, you know, a little, it's a little tough, a little hard. Um, now, so... Yeah, we have replicatestorage.assets.modules, and um, yeah, so I, like I said in the past series, what I've been trying to tell you guys is why you need things is because it should be kind of set up like this. You should already have all these folders. If you don't, no worries. All you have to do is make sure this goes in the right folder, so you could just get, create an asset folder and then create a modules folder. Uh, this just keeps our game clean. Um, so we're going to put that in uh, the modules. Now, um, we have points, so I guess this is a point thing we have. So, points required. We have category modules, so um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. So, we're going to go through this. might be a little bit of a long tutorial, so bear with me. We have all these remotes right here, so just put them all in the remotes in here. Um, so, awesome. Uh, yep, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. And we have an order system for the server, so that you can just go into here. We're going to go into this in a bit here. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, assets module max reach eyes. Uh, make sure there's no leader stats in here that I'm just not thinking about. Okay, perfect. And then the UIs. This is the main UI. So feel free to put these in here. And then we have the assets folder. So workspace.assets. They can go in here. Now there is a readme. So you can move order boards and registers anywhere in your map. For a new register, name it register. Add a proximity prompt inside and um, place it in assets.register. So I'm um, kind of like going what he had right here. So these are the registers. Now, um, it's actually super, uh, like I said, kind of easy to do. Um, now you probably are like, oh wait, this is like a, a whole mesh. Like I don't, I don't want that. Um, now, if you don't want to do that, what you can do is just like name like a model. So you could do like, let's just grab a model in here. And let's say you put it in here, right? And then you just name this register. But you got to make sure that proximity prompt is there. So it might be a little bit of a problem if you don't uh, do it a certain way. Just because that proximity prompt is probably a child. And it has to be the first thing. Uh, because he probably does it through a certain way. Um, but yeah, so you have that. Proximity prompt. Super easy. Open register. You can have a keyboard code. Max activation distance. Very, very simple. Um, yeah, so registers. And we have the order board. Now. I wanted to talk to this with you guys because a lot of people are probably wondering how does this cafe system really work now i'm not going to be able to really demonstrate it i don't think i can play it right now and i don't think it's going to um allow me to like do it with by myself uh, but let's say you open it right it's gonna open the register and it's gonna have a player so 
we have this player search now how this works is basically anyone in here is well so if you click it yeah it's gonna say you can't serve yourself so unfortunately i can't really test it because um there is i i just don't think i can um because it requires a group rank if i'm right i'll double check it in a bit here but um what happens is you open it up you select your client okay um i think he might have let me double check uh yeah so now it's draggable as well i totally forgot we did that uh he did that um but yeah so you should be able to just you know talk to your client click them and then it's going to take you to the uh cafe thing which i'll show you i can just visible it and then you're going to give them their services you're going to give them what they want you're going to send the button and it's actually going to give you a receipt and that receipt is where the player can rate you so they can give you stars like five stars and then it's actually going to go on this board just right here now i should have probably tested it i don't know why i didn't test it and take a video of it but it's going to show up on this board right here now on this board it actually only shows up what you currently have so it's basically like you get your own register and you get to give uh you get to have your own active orders up here and then you can hit uh complete on the order and it will allow you to um complete it and get rid of it but this is actually like for yourself it's not for everyone to see so um it's not like a you know it gives a chef a thing where it like sends an order to the back this actually only works for yourself so um that's something we made i don't know if you guys would want us to change it a little bit but for now that's how it is so you're gonna delete this um so there's just a lot uh i'm gonna try my best to go into this but let me just double check if there's a way to make it so i can just do it and do a two player test um yeah so it's the group id minimum rank so it does check if you're in the group uh i will just uh i don't even know if i can do that right now yeah get group and rank Da, 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 da. check group rank function da, 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 da. yeah well that's not gonna work but <laughs> you get the point so uh it looks like there's a rating reward so you get a certain amount of things there's the ranks right here so you can kind of customize that to what rank you want it to be um there's a rating cooldown so you know how much they can rate there's a certain amount of retries delay um you can kind of just mess around with this but i'm going to show you guys and show you for sure because I don't want you to be a little confused um this is a template um so it's a little confusing um i honestly haven't even looked at myself so there's bakery items there's boba there's coffees there's food there's ice cream there's others and then we have teas and then there's a template so template module places in here divide and table items um but yeah so there's just like certain things you can do um can do whatever you want but we made all of these already so there's already certain things in here for you and if you want to make more like you say you just do this and then you go here whatever um super simple to do actually so we made it module a module like just all modules because we want it so you guys can customize it really easily now this doesn't have recipes now we didn't want to do recipes like this yet and we're going to be doing that but this is just handling the the ui so um go ahead and look at that now if you want to delete something feel free to delete something um i think you can do like the whole module but let me just double check so in the ordering system okay so we have we have a lot of stuff in here um <laughs> so um config once again there's sound there's a notification duration rewards once again um categories okay so yeah categories and this so um when it comes to the categories uh we were kind of talking about it just a second ago in the modules category modules um, you're going to want to make sure you delete these or you're going to want to change them just however you want. Um, so if you do boba, you're going to change this boba module. You're going to change the name of this. Uh, but this right here, I'm pretty sure just displays the, um, it just displays the, uh, the name of the thing on the UI. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second here. Sorry, it's just like not trying to confuse you guys. There is a lot of scripts. So um it's nothing really for you to worry about but if you do try and change your stuff it might be a little crazy yeah antigo i did not even see how many scripts you've been doing but holy crap so um yeah I, you know i want to go through this for you guys but there is just a lot in here um you can kind of read it this is a lot of the ui functions um so that kind of goes based off of that but so we have notification you earn a certain amount of ratings um and we me and tigo tested this so this does work um but yeah so create player button this is going to grab you know creating a player it's going to grab their image id their text their username all that stuff 
Uh, there's just a lot in here. So, you know, I'm sorry there's so much, but wow, great job today. So um, we're going to just look in here. Yeah, this allows you to drag, which is nice. Um, I'm going to just try and see if I can. Yeah, let me just let me switch this. Okay, so this is kind of what I was talking about. Um, so there are these buttons. Now, um, like I said, you're going to have to mess around with some things. So we have customer selector. We have ordering. So ordering is already uh, visible, so you can just leave that on. This is a notification. You can mess around with this. Um, like I said, there's so many things you could do uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, so don't be afraid to, you know, mess around and uh, kind of like move around with that kind of stuff. Um, and then the customer selector. This is where we find the customers we talked about. Um, and then we have the uh, the ordering system. So this is kind of the whole ordering system. It gives you. Uh, th and this is kind of what I was trying to show you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to test this with you. But how this works is every time you click a new category. It allows you to turn it puts right here and then whatever was in that module it pops up little little icons so um i think we can go to ordering item list header or no content somewhere we have a template somewhere i know he has it somewhere oh yeah button templates right here so yeah basically what happens it goes in here so it goes in the boba and then it has your template so and, and this is a good example of how you can customize these um, you basically go to these button templates and you put it inside the content of that certain thing. So right now, uh, you just put in the item list and then you can go in here and customize the background. You can customize however it looks. We had a certain theme. Um, but yeah, so this is what I meant by this. You're going to get a button basically. And then, yeah, it just duplicates. So it goes all the way down and it turns into a certain thing. But um, basically, you click it. It's going to pop up on this order content. So it goes right here. And then you can click submit and it sends it through to the customer. Now, this is going to put your username, it's going to put the rank, it's going to put the level of you, and it also is going to put a little icon of your uh, character. And then, of course, submit, and then delete is just a delete, of course. Um, but you're going to put that back in the button template, so make sure that's back in there. Um, and like I said, all of them are different, so, you know, whatever is easier for you. I, we made it so there's a certain theme on the left. Um, now, there's an order template, so... Uh, Strawberry boba. Oh yeah, this goes into uh, uh let me see, let me get this. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes into order contents, uh, order info. Yeah, this is the player info, order info, place list. I'm pretty sure this goes in here. Yeah, so it it kind of looks like this. Basically, it goes like this, and you can click it and delete it however you want. Um, there's just a lot of stuff, honestly. I mean, I don't even like. Yeah, you got the order. That's like whatever that is. I don't even know. <laughs> player template. I mean, he made a lot. So this is a player template. Looks good. Um, this is like a viewport too, right? So you can put that in here. And then we have the receipt templates. So, okay, this is what I'm going to talk about receipts. Um, I can probably just put this in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. I'll actually just uh, – I'll do it a different way. Um, and then we have the order board UI. So that's another thing. Sorry, guys. There is so much in here. Um, but – Order contents, item list, item category. So item category is where you'll make your uh, thing. Now, I'm pretty sure he might have programmed it. So ice cream, yeah, ice cream, food. Pretty sure it might be programmed. So it actually just gets the name of it, the item, and then goes module. So if you, like, see how it says T's just, and then T's module, you just got to name them and make sure they're going based off of that. And then, I don't know, I don't think there's an attribute. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's basically just that. Um, and you can delete these. So if you delete it, it's going to go like this, okay? So see how I added it? Um, probably, yeah, you get the point. So it just adds it. It's a UI list layout. And you can add as many as you want. I'm pretty sure you can go more. But you will have to, it does get cut out. So um, wraps, I wouldn't recommend turning that on, actually. Uh, you just have to turn on the clip to sentence. And then, yeah, wraps is off. And then... Um, only issue though is it's not a scrolling frame. So if you do want to make it so it's it's more food and more things, turn this into a scrolling frame. I think we just made it so it doesn't do that because like you don't really I don't know why you'd have so many things. <laughs> um, there's just so much. So um, sorry guys, I'm like trying not to be like crazy here. So this is off. Okay. Now I wanted to show you this the receipts. So this is kind of what I was talking about. So you have an order receipt. This is the way to receipt. So this is what um, you get. Um, and it has a customer name, time of order, and then it has the content in here. So this is where it's going to have everything. And then inside here, it's going to have 
um, it's going to have everything. So it's going to have all your, uh, like items that are listed and yeah, that's about it. I mean, this is an image. So, you know, if you don't want this, it's up to you. You're going to have to mess around and customize some things, but you guys just know that, uh, it might break if you do that. Um, then this is the customer suite. So this is where I'm talking about the rating. You'll get a rating if you want to do a rating. Um, and then it comes with all the items right here as well. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the receipts. And then we have the sounds. So hover sound, notification sound. Um, you can kind of mess with these if you want to. Nothing too crazy. Now this UI. Okay, so this is kind of the other, other thing. So this is a Surface UI. Now, um, it's already on here. So, uh, if I'm right, it's actually already on here. So, I mean, yeah, so it's already on there. As you can tell, it's on in the board. Um, we have the header and then we have the content it's going to display an order so oh i think that's what that is yeah so duh right here perfect that's what i was going to tell you guys <laughs> so in here it's the order info so everything's going to get displayed and it's going to keep making them okay so it's going to look like this almost and then you're going to have this complete button and once you hit it you're done it says you're done and then of course when we go into the giving system which i'll talk about that later um it gives you the uh allows you to give people a uh, item later but this board is just for yourself so I, i'm sorry it's not like a you know everyone can see it i just feel like at the same time if we were to do that um i don't know how that worked unless you had chefs in your game or something but this allows it so the register guy can you know take your order and then they can go into the back make your order and give it to you later but it actually allows you to take as many orders as you want so that's actually what's the best part about this is you get a register you get to give it to as many people as you want and it's it's super easy um but yeah this does check your group stuff so um when it comes to you know making sure this works you probably won't even know um you got to make sure your asset convig you have your uh your group id um so it should be right here and um, we kind of talked about this a while ago so if you haven't watched those tutorials go watch them um but yeah that is about it so that is the uh ordering system now, I don't, I wish I could just show you guys how it works with another friend. I didn't really plan this video out too well, um, but I promise you it works and it, it's it's pretty cool how it works. So um, Tigo made a great job of it. And like I said, if you want to make more, it's it's just all through the modules and the category and you got bakery. You can just keep making more items in those modules and everything will be configured for you. The customization on how it looks, you will have to touch up, but just make sure you re like keep it back to what it was if you do end up, you know, messing with certain things um and uh same for in here just uh you know just look at these things make sure it's not uh anything's too crazy or changing but um that's about it you guys that is the whole ordering system now it's it's really cool and i hope you guys can test it out in your game and let me know how it goes um yeah feel free to join the discord sorry this was a long little tutorial and i hope you did enjoy this video i will catch you in the next one